Thanks to Harry Potter Magic Awakened for sponsoring this video. Greetings, witches and wizards. I'm James Phelps. And I'm Oliver. We played the Weasley twins in the Harry Potter film series. And we solemnly swear that we are up to no good. You see, we've heard some very concerning news. Quite distressing, really. Some of you have not yet begun to play Harry Potter Magic Awakened, the newly released mobile game where players start as first year students at Hogwarts and learn to master magic. For those who have already started on their player journey, 10 points to your respective houses. In celebration of the worldwide launch of the game, we're kicking off a special limited Mastering the Magic podcast series covering some of our favorite features in the game. This inaugural episode is in honor of every fan who has ever hoped for a Hogwarts acceptance letter. From customizing your character and exploring Diagon Alley, to being sorted into your house and exploring Hogwarts, there is so much to do. Harry Potter Magic Awakened features a new coming of age story with you, the player at the very center. You'll get to meet original characters like Ivy, Daniel, Cassandra, as well as some familiar faces like Professor McGonagall and Hagrid. And I really like how we get to see Neville Longbottom now as the Herbology Professor. The game is set 10 years after the Battle of Hogwarts, so I appreciate that we can clearly see the passage of time, but still be rooted in the magical universe of the Wizarding World. Fred and George Weasley may have outgrown full-time education, but the classes in the game are quite fun, as they have all their unique mini-games and card rewards. My personal favourite is Defence Against the Dark Arts, where you can get to duel a bug art that becomes your worst fear. What would your bug art be? But I'd rather not say. It's ridiculous. Well, I liked History of Magic the best, which is a trivia game covering Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast movies. But there's also Care of Magical Creatures, where you'll learn all about your favorite creatures. Charms, where players can battle trolls, as well as Divination, where you can draw an item from the Wizarding World and have other players guess what it is. When classes aren't in session, you can explore all the rooms up close, wander around Diagon Alley, and even fly around Hogwarts. Exploring the castle really feels like being on the set again. There's also a dance club where players can invite others to dance in fun rhythm mini games. But keep in mind that McGonagall is headmistress of Hogwarts in Harry Potter Magic Awakened. When it comes to dancing, we all know she won't be tolerating any students behaving like abundant baboons. <laughs> Please make sure that you tap the orbs at the right time. Last but not least, another one of our favorite features is that you can decorate your dorm room and outfits for your personal space to display a variety of personal items, furniture and artifacts that can be earned through events, quests and achievements. Really, make it your own. This is all about your story and mastering magic. So, have you played Harry Potter Magic Awakened yet? Tell us what your favorite part of the game is and why. And as a special treat from us to you, we've prepared a gift for players who can answer this trivia question. Which incredible wizarding family lived in the burrow? Just head to the events page in Harry Potter Magic Awakened to select your answer. If you're right, you'll be rewarded with an in-game gift. So hop to it and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks to Harry Potter Magic Awakened for sponsoring this video.